Eli Whitney and the Cotton Gin Project. Eli Whitney was born on December 8, 1765 in Massachusetts. He graduated from Yale and he moved to the South. In the South, he learned about cotton production and the difficulty separating cotton seeds from cotton fibers. Cotton was an ideal crop. It was easily grown and its fibers could be stored for a long period of time. In 1794, inventor Eli Whitney changed everything with the cotton gin, a machine that revolutionized the production of cotton by greatly speeding up the process of removing seeds from cotton fiber. During the cotton gin process, cotton was run through a wooden drum embedded with many hooks that caught the fibers. The hooks pulled the fibers in and took the seeds out. Smaller cotton gins could be cranked by hand, and larger ones later on could be powered by a steam engine. Although the cotton gin made labor less intense, it helped planters earn greater profits, making them grow more crops, which in return required more people. Cotton farmers got more sleeves to help out. In addition, even though farmers were happy with the idea of a machine that could boost cotton production so much, they had no intention to share such a significant percentage of their profits with Eli Whitney. By 1800, cotton production had increased from about 3,000 bales a year to 73,000 bales a year. Unfortunately, later on, Whitney's machine was copied and his factory was set on fire. He was heavily in debt. Although some historians believe a woman named Catherine Green devised the cotton gin and Eli Whitney built it, others believe the idea was Whitney's but Green played an important role as both designer and financer. In conclusion, the cotton gin was one of the key inventions of the Industrial Revolution and shaped the economy of the South.